guys my name is Alejandrina everybody calls me Ali welcome back to my channel and if you're new please subscribe turn on the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload um so let's just get straight into this video today we are going to be making um homemade potatoes and thighs taquitos whoever doesn't know it's what taquitos is tacos but not the regular traditional taco that everybody eats these are rolled up tacos and fried so stay tuned so you'll see how i personally make them everybody makes them different um if you have made these if you're mexican especially because a lot of mexicans like to eat this um let me know down below what different kind of tacos you make what kind to eat and how spicy because we are going to be adding some jalapenos into this dish so stay tuned for this video i'll see you guys once i start prepping everything um and start chopping up all the vegetables you guys are going to be coming along with me to watch the step by step so stay tuned i know i had told you guys that i had gotten thighs but i instead i got leg quarters sorry i got mistaken by that and also i recommend anybody that has not tried this to try to try the dry rub barbecue season leg quarters and they were also on a, on, on a deal so yeah i got these from walmart actually and a lot of people like to boil these so it can be faster and better to just take a pull apart for the tacos but i like to personally bake them so i preheat the oven to 350 i already got my thing right here i'm gonna put one of the leg quarters only because basically mainly for my boyfriend since he don't like the potato ones i'm gonna put the leg quarter here and i'm gonna um close it in like it's a pocket um let me do that guys and i'll show you how it would look like closed up together like a pocket so it can like steam the steam will stay inside and actually bake the the leg quarter so there you go what i did i put the sheet in the bottom how you guys already seen then i put the two pieces of leg quarters in there and then i put an, another piece of aluminum foil and put it on top and i just rolled up the edges and that's the finale so i will be baking it like i said at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes and in the meantime i'm gonna start um boiling the red potatoes for the tacos as well so in the meantime while the leg quarters um bake i start boiling the red potatoes the reason why I like red potatoes is because the texture is smoother and the um the flavor is sweeter. Um, so we're just gonna go right ahead to the table and I'm gonna show you some things that I will be using for the tacos. Um, so I went to Walmart and I got some salsa verde. Don't mind my table, guys. I was doing some stuff for Nathan, so I got some like white powdered sugar donut residue right there right here <laughs> it's okay so we got some salsa verde this is a good salsa guys to use for tacos we got green cabbage oh uh, these green beans are for something else but i also bought them at at walmart green beans we love green beans um i bought for my boyfriend the kobe um Mont monterey jack cheese i don't know how the fuck to say that but yeah i got some salt because we ran out of salt i got him two boxes of pouches because he likes these um i got evaporated milk which has nothing to do with the with the tacos i got adobo what well, puerto rican doesn't need adobo but that has nothing to do with it but that's just some stuff that i had added to the list um, so I got him the the Colby shredded cheese and I got myself the queso fresco. These go very well with the tacos. I also got jalapeno peppers, green pickled. I got some sour cream. I will be actually making a little sour cream sauce with this to go on the tacos and tomatoes. 
so yeah i'm gonna start chopping this up into shredded cabbage um do everything else start prepping it until um until everything else is done so we can start prepping the tacos oh i forgot one main thing and i think i forgot it in the car i forgot my tortillas <laughs> I got some corn tortillas. I'll be right back with those guys. And my yellow corn tortillas. <sighs> the struggle. I left it in the car, guys. So, my potatoes are finally done. My red skin potatoes. I know my light kind of dark but you know you get the concept so I just grab one of these I really don't remember the name of these they're really soft and they're so tiny so so the meat is done after the 25 minutes now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna shred it and begin the process of doing the tacos I'll be right back after I shred this meat. The meat is all and shredded. Now to start warming up the tortillas. As I start warming these up, I got this plate right here with paper towels so the tortillas won't sweat. Let's start warming these up. Toothpicks in handy. I just had them in my hand. Oh, right here. What the fuck? Just roll them up. Things should make it fatter. Double them up. That's super quick use. Look, guys, all the tacos are rolled up. Now to start frying them. Once I fry them, I will start prepping them so you guys can see the final product. Now we're gonna fry these babies. All right. So you basically leave them for about three to four minutes on each side, long enough for it to crisp up. And the potatoes and the meat ones are mixed in there. I could just look at the inside and actually indicate which way what, which is what. So once the three or four minutes are done on one side, just flip it over. Three to four minutes on one side. Then you just put it in the rinser. All right, here is prepping time. You can just easily pull them out of the toothpick.
trying to see which ones are me for this guy. guys that and I'm missing two things just put a few jalapenos on the side and salsa verde for me and that's it these are potato and chicken tacos. Now I'm just gonna go and enjoy this meal with my boyfriend. If you haven't already, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you like more cooking videos, like this video so I can know who re um if you guys are really requesting more cooking videos or mukbangs, just like the video and comment down below.